Step one, wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds. Uh, they'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh, yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaking. I got patience, one day at a time. It's how you operate a cadence. A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause the sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Step one, wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Yo, Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 So life ain't easy, y'all I think there's a reason, though Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all Negative thoughts are poison, they ride uh. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds, uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. 
yeah. So I'ma fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience. One day at a time is how you operate a cadence. A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause of sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Sorry about that, got a little distracted doing something. Morning, Douglas. Welcome to the stream. This is going to be a continuation from what we were doing earlier. Uh, where did we leave off? Outside of Pendleton. Still got 924 miles left to go. Trucky says about an hour. Let's see how it goes. Start getting daylight here soon. Oh, we need fuel. Oh, 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 oh. All right. That caught me off guard. All right. Time to hit the road. Don't you get no crumbs on my back seat? Right. Let's get the trucking. Hey, Susan. I'm just continuing on from what I did earlier today. right now. So it's dark right now, but I did set the time 5.30 in the morning, so it should be getting light soon. trip started up in Prudhoe Bay Alaska heading to Ayana Arizona I think where we're going I 
double check exactly when uh stop to get fuel here considering I'm uh pretty sure oh, come on really yeah below a quarter slow down sharp curves ahead this ought to be fun. Sun poking out. Oh, I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him. No, oh, maybe not. Got a wait station ahead. Probably gonna get pulled in. Yep. We. Break check me? Pink Subaru? Running out of fuel, you should find a filling station. And then exit right. well, what do you know? There's one right here. Juice. Okay. I do hit the 
should stop them. It's really annoying me. Hey, I just got home, man. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the map real quick. I think we're going to Arizona. Yep, Arizona. Okay. Wanted to make sure so we don't make a liar out of me. Why is it snapping? Really driving me nuts. I don't think it does that in my other profile. Motion, motion, yep. Really gonna yell at me for all the damage to the trailer. All right, let's see. We got the Cascadia. Still got this. I'm trying to. Hey, I'll wait for you guys here. Hold on a second. I just realized I don't have my, my one light on. Give me a minute. Alexa, turn the light off. Okay. We're going to pretend like that never happened.
So, beautiful sunrise going on here. It's a uh, paid truck bond by uh, Mark Brower, uh, Freightliner Cascadia Legacy. I think the only way to get it now is being part of his Patreon. I think he actually shut his store down. This, uh, he also does this AI traffic bot that I'm running. Chucky, we got another 50 minutes. Hey, pause. Welcome to the stream. All right, I'm just going back outside. That snappiness of going on with the eye tracker is driving me nuts. All right. Don't think he added a shower in it, but I have seen him with showers in him in real life. Nice. Welcome to Idaho. This should be about two, little over 2k when all said and done. I know it was 3,000 total, but it was over a thousand miles of ferry too.
Boise discovered. Another reason why I kind of laid back and been playing the game a lot is every time I play this game, I start getting the itch of wanting to go back, you know, OTR, go back cross country driving. you dare. It's been a while since I've been on this part of the, you know, map. These states, you know, the last few months it's been nothing but Texas and the surrounding states. But to get back up north is it's kind of nice. miles left. Yeah, right? I dealt with that tonight a little bit, not waiting in traffic, but bad wreck must have happened on Interstate 86 out near, um, Elmira, New York, and I got right at the beginning of where they started cutting the, the throughway off, so the detour signs weren't out yet. That, that was a nightmare, trying to drive through the historic town of Elmira. You know, I think it was only like 25 miles technically out of the way. It took me over an hour to get back on the throughway. Wound up being an hour and a half late for my uh, my drop off. Then I had to take a different route back, so I didn't have to deal with it going back. It wasn't fun, especially at night when you really can't see where you're going. You know, it's less stressful during the day when you can actually see what's around you. 
But when it's dark out, nobody knows where to go. You're in this old town that's got a lot of, you know, tiny little streets that are not meant for trucks, and we're just like, where do we go? You know, there's a whole line of us trying to figure out where to go, and then our trucker GPSs were taking us different routes, but they just had some severe flooding go on down there, so they had a bunch of roads blocked off for that. I had to turn around three times before I finally got going down the right way. It's not easy to do in a rig. Especially when you got a whole line of rigs behind you. Tonight is where the CB came in handy and everybody was... You know, you had some people complaining. But for the majority, we're all trying to help each other try to get back on the interstate. Yeah, it wasn't. It was stressful. Keep right, and then exit right. I'm going on almost being up for 20 hours, too. I got up today around 9 o'clock in the morning. Now almost 5 in the morning. But I told y'all I was going to finish this run when I got home tonight, and here I am. Plus, I see Boomer did another almost 1,000-mile run earlier, so... Depending on uh, how early I get up today, I may do another one of these. It's not going to be a Alaska to freaking Arizona run, but um, only thing is, is I'm most likely if I stream anything today, it'll be on Twitch like to get up early and stream on tri Twitch around the time that SCS does theirs. Get the possibility of getting a raid. I am. Boomer was close. I think he did like 700. Uh, I know Wolf is talking about trying to find a run from Crudo Bay to Laredo. And he's not going to use the ferry, he's going to use the uh, connector road for Promods. Definitely not a run I'd be able to do in uh, one sitting, that's for sure. I think he said the last time he did that, it was over 5,000 miles. Alright, I'm going to pick it up to 75. Welcome to Utah.
I'm gonna overheat it. Temperature. That's only 88 out. Ain't that hot? Utah lets us do 80. Morning, Thor. Hey, Dusty. Hey, Zane. Morning to you guys. Doing good, a little tired, but I told everyone I'd finish this run when I got home from work today, so that's what I'm doing. So I've got about another half hour left. How about yourself? How you doing this morning? I ended it yesterday up in Oregon, I think. Left myself with about nine, a little over 900 miles to do. I couldn't, um, I couldn't sit for another hour. Uh, let's see. Salt Lake City. Got too much more to go. Good old I fifteen. Travel 
this a lot when I was out west driving. Stopped a couple times up in Salt Lake City, visited with my uncle. One of the things I miss about over the road was I got family scattered throughout the state. So when I would take my home time, I'd take my home time to visit with them. So it would be sometimes where I'd go you know, four or five months before I actually make it at home home. Fork. We actually rented a bunch of jet skis down in Spanish Fork and went to one of the reservoirs and did some jet skiing. Fun. Something a little ironic, like so last night, Sunday night for me, we were we, me, Wolf, and and Picard did Alaska. Go straight on. That's right. I go up to go to bed, turn the TV on, Ice Road Truckers is playing, and they're up in Alaska. It's kind of funny. <laughs> He's everywhere. Same. You guys back in school yet? I 
I know some areas up here started. I know my sister doesn't start for another another week. Ah, okay, yep. I don't know if they're starting on the 5th or if they're starting on the 7th. Hey, Stubbs. When I was in school, it was always the Thursday after Labor Day. But I do know that they've lately been starting usually the Tuesday after Labor Day now. Ever since we got hit with all that snow a couple years ago and a lot of schools had to extend the school year because they used up all their snow days so now they sit there and make them start a little earlier so they have to go over they can if they don't wind up having to then they just throw in a couple extra um, staff development days Give them a couple days off throughout the year. Even though now, with all this remote learning and whatnot, there's a lot of times where we, you know, I would have had a snow day. My sister still had school, they just did remote learning. So glad that I didn't have to deal with that. No. The most we ever had was two weeks, but they did away with that pretty much. Because now they give a, give them a week in February, and uh, yeah. They get midwinter break. Christmas break, spring break. So what they did, instead of giving them two weeks for Christmas, two weeks for Easter, they, they took, you know, some days off either and give them a midwinter break in February. Which I used to like because I used to always say, yeah, the school's giving me a birthday present. I get a week off. And then, well, summer vacay is about that. Figure they their last day was the second last week of June. You got four weeks in July, four weeks in August. That's eight. Yeah, they they get about get ten weeks for summer. Keep seeing these cities popping up. It's another reminder that I haven't used this profile for anything yet. So Thor, that's going to be coming later. Um, that'll get explained more this Friday.
I gotta start on the ATS one too. Thank you, Dusty. Yeah. Reminds me. If you like this video, if you like the stream so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Whoa, what are we doing here? Bright yellow. I don't ever remember putting yellow in. I'll have to look at the mod again. Alright, Zane, have a good one. Oh, look at that. I just passed an ugly yellow Volvo there, Dusty. the rain again <laughs> I forgot to throw realistic rain back in Let's have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. when we were testing pilot said he had a truck and he thought he was seeing you know multiples but it was the same truck and all he was doing was doing a lap around the Ikea because what I was trying to do with the spawn ratio is I didn't want you guys to you know every other truck be a BTT truck so we were trying to figure out the spawn ratio. Now, I upped it when Boomer did his stream so that he could show the trucks off. And then I lowered it back down when I released it to you guys. Um, but, you know, even in real life, you're not going to say, you know, it's not like every other truck you see on the highway is a Swift. But 
know, I figured if like just once in a while y'all would see a BTT track, I, you know, we've been seeing the trailers in ATS, and we would have just seen trailers too in ETS when I I did the company mod. But I thought, you know what? Let me add the trucks in too, which is why I want to do it for ATS as well. The only thing that I'm a little disappointed about with ATS is um, the only sleeper trucks that I can do with using Mod Studio to do it the easy way are the W900 and the Cascadia. The Peterbilt, Kenworth, and the International are day cabs. I don't think they got a Volvo yet. Sorry, Dusty. You know, speaking of which, I thought for sure you were going to make me, when I had to do your skin, you were going to make me do a Volvo. Just realized. Oh, let's do this. Ready for a flashbang in three, two, one. Oh, maybe not a flashbang. Okay, cool. I'm sure I can find them. It's just nice with Mod Studio. You know, they put all the files together for you. Um, you don't have to look for the auto map files. But, if I could figure out how to make my own XML file, Mod Studio, I'll be able to do it through there anyway. figure it out. <laughs> nice. I did yesterday, and then this the start of this run was in Prudhoe Bay earlier today. I just couldn't finish it. It's over 2,000 miles. I couldn't do it in one sitting. Not when I knew I had to, you know, when I got done, I was going to be sitting for the next, you know, 10 hours in my truck at work. Now. Go straight on. That's right. But I didn't use the, uh, the ProMods connector road, no. I cheated and took the ferry. I don't have the new Pro Mods uh, downloaded yet. I did just download Can Canamania because Dusty said the road, the connection road to Alaska through Canamania looks better than the Pro Mods one, so I'm going to test it out.
noticing a lot of those covered trucks again in the game, and usually that's a sign that they're close to getting ready to releasing a new truck. I'm 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 waiting for the T680 next gen to come out. So we don't have to use the mod anymore. Then hopefully this will does a tuning pack for it. But I have a feeling the next tuning pack they come out with is gonna be for the uh what is it the 379? 389? Old school Pete. This is a follow suit with the uh, W900. Uh, AlaskaMod.com, I think? It's, uh, if you look at my description, Thor, I got it posted down there, um, where it says, I think, non-Steam Mods, underneath the list of mods. Somewhere in the description. Oh, nice. Get ready to turn lid. Turn We got 40 miles to go. Let's. Had some damage. Buccaneering a little bit. But we haven't flipped over yet. Let's see if we can finish this last 30. 33 miles without flipping. Gonna be a bumpy ride. sign. We're still all in all our wheels, though.
2,287 miles. Use 785 gallons of fuel. That's a lot. <laughs> All right. See where that puts me. Bye bye, Boomer. <laughs> uh, five, six, seven, eight. 300 miles, huh? I don't know. I might have a 300 mile run left in me. Let's see what we got. Yet no. We got for external. May have to quick travel. Eight, six, two ninety nine, three forty three, five fifty four. Really don't want to go to California. Really don't want to go back up north. Three forty three. Let me see. Yep, we'll do that. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the legacy. Let's make another truck real quick. Truck dealer. This boat's gonna take too long. Do this real quick. Uh, not compatible with the high rise. Go with that. Put the oh, quick go. No, <laughs> oh, not fair. I don't have an engine, not using a base game engine. Oh, I am not good for another two thousand miles. Uh, how do I go back? There we go. Where's the convert dealer I have right here? Can make Dusty happy. Yeah, right. Oh, I guess that's the engine we're going with. It's going to sound like crap, probably. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh. Go up to Kenworth. Buy online. Do some configuration. E15. There we go. Use that. Maybe. Uh, 18 speed. 100th anniversary. Here, right, let's drive Thor's truck.
We won't go ham. I just want. That. <laughs> I want. That. There we go. Engineers, handrails, exhaust. Okay. Go with that. That. That should be good. Oh, one more thing. Keep that. Yeah, our BTT don't work anymore for it. Ah! Hold on. I think so. Pretty sure. Quote me. I'll look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have it. I know it's one of the... There's a lot of things I can do now since they added the accessory pack. Okay, come on. I need that last button. Right there. Okay. Text to my white tail. Okay. Or super war. Cabin lights. Those are good. No. Don't want the shield. This gotta have the front mirrors. Right, and then change that that firm purchase. Oh, are you kidding me? Just wasted all that time. What do I got in my trucks? Sell this. You just go to a regular Cascadia. Screw it. Let's just get this load underway. Alright. Keep driving this. Journal market. Might still be there. Let's do this. You say don't glitch out on me now. truck so I gotta behave get 
go flipping it. So let me find that real quick. There. Okay. I thought before. I'm a little tired, so my brain ain't working at its full capacity right now. But I want to pass pilot. Gives me enough motivation to continue on. It's so weird driving it. This trailer just seems so small now. Here's a prime example on why you can't trust your estimated fuel remaining with the mileage. When we started this run, I had over 400 miles to go before empty. We have only driven 23 miles, and I'm down to 254 now. to New Mexico. I just... I love the detail. Rocks. Desert grass. This Land Rover is about to get hunted. I guess on a positive note, I know I can't go, I can't get race files now. <laughs>
this track. I did just get done with the Volvo. I check that out. I wish they still use those green things out here. I'll block the headlights of oncoming traffic. Looks like this one we're going to have to wait at. And out burgers. Don't worry, bestie. We'll get you a drink here shortly. Seems about right. Ran the filler. Sadly. Isn't this a hidden road over here? No. I'm thinking of something else. Oh! Whoopsie. Oh, I don't even have my replay buff around. Can't get that. Come on. Lights on for safety. Did 14% damage. That hurt. <laughs> but looks like not enough to put my check engine light on. Oh look, a Volvo dealership. Hey, there's Dusty. I really want to 
know why this is snapping. Really annoying. Ah, I didn't know that. Go straight on and then keep right. You almost got squashed. Get away from the pedals. Pilot Flying J Tanker. Smokey, get away. Even the cats are bothering me. They're like, hey, it's bedtime. Let's go. <laughs> me, I pass you. Where are we heading to? So, bro. Oh, no. This is going to a new mine. Oh, I hope it's not that parking spot. I hope it's not that one parking spot. out in about 10 minutes. Oh boy. Yeah, the fun one. The one on the side of the hill. Or it's going to be in one of those really, really cramped Newmonts that you have like no room to turn around in. I mean, I'd be fine if I was driving a regular sized truck. This one just keeps getting. Frame keeps getting caught up on crap. Look at this scenery. I need to get out west again. Mm, it'd be good. 
Let's see. Fire truck. Yeah, I thought so. I got it. Honor there. Oh. Yep, there's a check engine light. First time coming up to this. It freaked me out. <laughs> In real life. Like, which way do I go, George? Which way do I go? away from destination, 63 miles. Thank you. 
Come on, I need to get over. Need to get over. Thank you. See our destination on the map. Yes, I'm hungry. AFC sounds really good right now, except they ain't open. $500 fine for littering. Go straight on. That's right. I'm going to keep going. This my dumb self left extended traffic lights in. load 15,000 pounds Schneider. Is 
against me. Okay, another run done. 316 miles. Less than what it was supposed to be. Now I gotta check. That works. All right, all right, all right. I have now overtaken pilot and Boomer. Ah, uh, Dragon. Don't have Dragon yet. Don't have Drive yet. And... Don't have Wolf yet. Wolf's got me by almost 3,000. I only got Pilot by a little. I got Boomer by... Almost 1,800. So that works out. All right, everyone. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be alerted to all future streams and content. Like I said, if I get up in time, I will do another ATS live stream tomorrow or today. But it will not be here on YouTube. It will wind up being over on my Twitch. My Twitch should be in the link in the description below. If not, it's up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to make it the pinned message. There is my Twitch page. Please give it a look. Give me a follow if you haven't yet. Oh, no. I'm nowhere near you yet, Susan. You're safe. <laughs> I only got 10,839 miles. You're at 31,649. You're safe. With only two days left to do it, you're safe. Um, so, okay, so yeah, be sure to check out my Twitch. Go follow me over there. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of my streaming over on Twitch as I just got affiliated by it, by them. So now I can, you know, get, people can subscribe to memberships and send me spitties and whatnot. Sound alerts and a whole bunch of stuff. So, if you got a Twitch, check me out over there. I do a lot of my Call of Duty over there as well. Other than that, thank you all for coming out, sticking with me through the run. This is Trucker King 2010. Catch you next time.